Remember that satisfying crack when you bite into a magnum? It's not just about taste, it's engineered. The thickness of the chocolate shell is calibrated to exactly 1.5 millimeters, creating that distinctive sound and mouthfeel that signals your brain. This is premium. Today, I'm taking you inside the factory where the sensory experience is created. You'll see how engineers control chocolate viscosity, temperature, and application time down to the millisecond. What looks simple in your hand is actually the result of some of the most sophisticated food engineering in the world. What if I told you that creating the perfect Magnum chocolate shell requires more precision than assembling a Swiss watch? The process presents a fundamental engineering challenge that has taken years to perfect. Engineers must solve a seemingly impossible problem. How to apply liquid chocolate to frozen ice cream without melting the ice cream or creating an uneven shell. At the heart of this challenge lies a delicate balance of three critical variables, chocolate temperature, viscosity, and application time. These factors must be controlled with extraordinary precision. Even a two degree temperature variation in the chocolate can ruin an entire production batch, causing the coating to become too thin, too thick, or to melt the ice cream core. The stakes are high when thousands of bars move through the production line every hour. The chocolate recipe itself is a closely guarded secret. Unlike ordinary chocolate, Magnum's coating is specially formulated to withstand temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius, while still maintaining its signature crack and mouthfeel when you bite into it. Standard chocolate would become brittle and flavorless at these extreme temperatures, but Magnum's specialized Belgian chocolate remains flavorful and delivers the characteristic snap that consumers expect. Before production begins, this specialized chocolate undergoes rigorous testing. Technicians measure flow rates under various conditions, testing how quickly the chocolate moves at different temperatures and how it solidifies when it contacts the frozen ice cream. This testing ensures consistency across millions of ice cream bars. The chocolate must flow evenly over the ice cream core, creating a uniform shell without imperfections. The coating system itself represents a marvel of food engineering. Precision nozzles apply the chocolate at exactly 45 degrees Celsius, a temperature carefully calibrated to allow the chocolate to flow smoothly while preventing excessive melting of the ice cream beneath. Too cold, and the chocolate becomes too thick to coat evenly. Too hot, and the ice cream begins to melt, creating an uneven final product. Timing in this process is controlled to the millisecond. Each ice cream bar spends exactly 1.8 seconds in the chocolate bath, not a moment more or less. This precise timing achieves the perfect shell thickness of 1.5 millimeters. The machinery moves at a carefully calibrated speed to ensure this timing remains consistent across every single bar. The uniformity of this process explains why every Magnum feels the same when you bite into it. After receiving their chocolate coating, the freshly covered bars move immediately into a cooling tunnel. Here, another feat of temperature engineering occurs. The temperature drops rapidly from 45 degrees Celsius to minus 25 degrees Celsius in under 10 seconds. This rapid cooling creates the characteristic glossy finish on the chocolate shell and prevents the formation of unappetizing cocoa butter bloom that would make the surface appear dull or spotted. The scale of this precision engineering is remarkable. A single Magnum factory produces approximately 5 million ice cream bars daily with specialized coating machines running 24 hours a day. The coating process alone requires multiple specialized pieces of equipment working in perfect synchronization. The consistency achieved at this massive scale demonstrates the sophistication of the manufacturing process. Quality control systems monitor every aspect of production. Sensors track temperature at dozens of points throughout the line. Computer systems adjust chocolate flow rates in real time, and high-speed cameras inspect each bar for visual defects. Bars that don't meet the exacting standards are automatically removed from the production line before packaging. The chocolate shell that seems so simple in your hand 
actually represents one of the most technically challenging aspects of industrial ice cream production. Engineers spend years perfecting the process, adjusting variables, and fine-tuning equipment to achieve consistent results. The coating system represents millions of dollars in specialized equipment designed specifically for this purpose. The precision engineering doesn't end with coating. The ice cream core itself requires equally sophisticated temperature control systems throughout its production journey. The ice cream must be at the exact right temperature before coating, cold enough to maintain its structure, but not so cold that it causes the chocolate to solidify too quickly, which would create an uneven surface. As the bars move forward in the production line, they enter the next critical phase, temperature stabilization. The core temperature in the newly formed shell must reach equilibrium before packaging to prevent quality issues during storage and transport. The balance between the frozen core and chocolate shell represents a continuous engineering challenge, requiring constant monitoring and adjustment throughout the production day. Have you ever wondered why your homemade chocolate-dipped ice cream never quite matches a Magnum's perfect shell? The answer lies in temperature control, the hidden science behind industrial ice cream production. While the chocolate coating process demands precision, creating the ideal ice cream base itself requires maintaining exact temperature control throughout the entire production journey, from initial ingredients to final packaging. The ice cream mixture travels through a complex temperature journey that few consumers ever consider. The process begins at a scorching 85 degrees Celsius during pasteurization, then cools to four degrees Celsius for aging, before entering the freezing phase where temperatures plummet to create the perfect frozen texture. This carefully orchestrated temperature dance ensures both safety and sensory perfection in the final product. At the factory, the production line springs to life when milk tankers arrive with fresh deliveries. These tankers transport approximately 40,000 liters of fresh milk that must undergo immediate processing. The milk flows through stainless steel pipes into pasteurization units, where it's heated to exactly 85 degrees Celsius for precisely 25 seconds, no more, no less. This specific time temperature combination eliminates harmful bacteria while preserving the delicate flavor compounds that give Magnum its characteristic taste profile. After pasteurization, the mixture enters the homogenization phase. During this critical step, the liquid passes through high pressure valves at a specific temperature range of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. The pressure forces the mixture through tiny openings, breaking down fat globules into microscopic particles that remain suspended evenly throughout the liquid. This process creates the remarkably smooth texture Magnum is known for, preventing any graininess or separation in the final product. The next stage introduces another temperature shift. The mixture flows into aging tanks, where it cools to four degrees Celsius and remains for four to six hours. This resting period allows protein molecules to fully hydrate and fat crystals to form properly. Temperature consistency during aging is crucial. Fluctuations as small as one degree Celsius can affect how flavors develop and how the mixture behaves during freezing. Massive cooling jackets surround the tanks, maintaining perfect temperature equilibrium throughout the aging process. After aging, the mixture enters the most dramatic temperature change of its journey. It flows into freezing barrels where the temperature rapidly drops to minus five degrees Celsius, the precise point where ice crystals begin forming. Inside these barrels, specialized scraper blades continuously scrape the inner walls, preventing large ice crystals from forming. The mixture must reach this exact temperature point. Too warm and the structure fails, too cold, and the texture becomes icy rather than creamy. The semi-frozen mixture now resembles soft serve ice cream. Extrusion equipment forces it through shaped dyes to create the familiar magnum bar form. The bars then enter a forced air freezer tunnel that makes all previous cooling seem mild by comparison. Here, temperatures plunge to an extreme minus 40 degrees Celsius. This flash freezing technique achieves the perfect resistance and internal structure. The bars must freeze at precisely this rate. Slower freezing would create larger ice crystals and a grainy texture. Throughout this entire temperature journey, engineers monitor conditions at 15 different checkpoints along the production line. 
Automated systems detect and correct variations as small as 0.5 degrees Celsius. When temperature deviations occur, the system makes micro adjustments to prevent quality issues before they develop. Computer displays throughout the factory show real-time temperature maps of the entire production floor, allowing technicians to spot potential problems immediately. Now comes the moment where engineering brilliance truly shines. The chocolate coating instantly freezes onto the minus 40 degrees Celsius ice cream through a process called rapid crystallization. When the 45 degrees Celsius chocolate meets the minus 40 degrees Celsius ice cream surface, the extreme temperature difference creates immediate solidification. This instant freezing locks the chocolate molecules into a specific crystalline structure that gives magnum its characteristic snap and prevents the chocolate from becoming brittle or flaky when bitten. The precision of this temperature choreography explains why homemade attempts at chocolate-coated ice cream often fail. Without industrial flash freezers and heated chocolate applicators operating at exact temperatures, home cooks simply cannot replicate the precise conditions necessary for perfect shell formation. The temperature differential between the ice cream and chocolate must be exact, too small, and the shell becomes thick and uneven too large, and the ice cream begins to melt. With the ice cream core and chocolate shell perfectly engineered through this temperature ballet, the bars move to the final quality control stage. Here, human inspectors supplement technology, examining random samples for weight consistency, shell thickness, and structural integrity. The bars must maintain their precise temperatures during packaging and transportation to distribution centers, where carefully calibrated cold storage systems Ensure they arrive at stores in perfect condition. Throughout this entire journey, from raw ingredients to packaged product, temperature control remains the unseen hero of Magnum production. The next time you enjoy that perfect crack of chocolate followed by creamy ice cream, remember you're experiencing the culmination of an intricate temperature-controlled engineering process that transforms simple ingredients into a precisely crafted sensory experience. The iconic Magnum crack isn't just satisfying. It represents the culmination of precision engineering, where chocolate viscosity, temperature control, and timing create a seemingly simple pleasure. The combination of the crunchy chocolate shell and the creamy ice cream creates a contrast in textures and flavors that enhances the overall enjoyment. Next time you bite into a Magnum, you're experiencing the result of decades of food science refinement and manufacturing innovation that transformed ice cream from a simple treat into an engineered sensory experience. Behind every perfect chocolate shell lies a hidden world of technical complexity, proving that sometimes the most ordinary pleasures require the most extraordinary engineering.